Hey, what's cracking, everybody? All right, the time is here. I am now officially releasing Linux of Prime version 3.1.1. And as you can see on the screen here, this is going to be with the Connemaris and Prime installer. So all desktops, all options available either through Calamari's or the Prime installer. The choice is yours. You select which one you want to use and take it from there. So on this video that I'm making here, uh, you know, I'll, ch I'll choose one. We'll start with the Calamari's first. So right here, there's two buttons on the first window. Um, of course, if you don't have internet connection, the first window you're going to get is that message about uh, internet connection. And then after that, you will get this window. So I'm going to start with the Calamari's first. Click on Calamari's installer. As you can see right here, Calamari's Prime installer. Select options below to configure installation. So right here, you set up everything that you want to set it up. Now right here where it says select desktop environment, it says required, but in all actuality, you can leave it on offline. And it's going to install basically the desktop that you see right here that's uh that we're working off right now so in reality it's not even required you could just click okay right now it'll it'll install uh this desktop that you got right here but if you want to select the custom desktop you just click here and you choose whatever desktop it is you want to install so whatever you want to install you can select it from right here so for this example let's say uh Say I go with Hyperland, and you have an option right here for select extra packages. Of course, you could go with the full or you go with none. By default, it's set to none. Then below that, you have auto login. It's optional. So it's yes or no. So whatever your choice is, you choose it here. Uh, install gaming packs. It's optional. By default, it's set to no, but if you want to install them, click on yes. Install LibreOffice, by default it's set to no, but if you want to install it, select yes. Uh, install NVIDIA drivers, for those of you that have uh, NVIDIA cards, again, select yes. And then one of the main options right here is vanilla or prime. As I explained in the video before, vanilla is going to give you the desktop the way it comes without any edits. Prime desktop is going to give it to you the way I set it up. So you have the option to install it either way you want. So by default, it's set to Prime, but if you want it to be vanilla, just select vanilla. And then the last option is going to be download extra wallpapers. Of course, this is optional. If you don't want to, select no. If you don't care, just leave it on yes. And then from here, you just click on OK. And then the next window, of course, is going to be your Calamari's installer. So right here, you just set it up. Just make sure that your uh, your language is correct. Click Next. Make sure your location is correct. If not, set it. Then click Next. Make sure your keyboard layout is correct. And then click Next. Then from right here, you can either dual boot it. So you can install alongside another partition. You can replace a partition. You can erase this or you can do manual partitioning, whatever you choose. If you want swap, you can select swap. If not, you can leave it off. The choice is yours. Click next, give it your user info. So I'm gonna go with the name Linux Hub, then give it a strong and complicated password. Repeat that password. If you do not wanna log in automatically, uncheck this. If you do, check it. If you don't want to use the same password for the administrator, you can set up a different password. If not, just leave it checked. Click on next. This is your overview of everything that's going to happen. Click on install, then install now. Then from here, you don't have to do nothing else until you're ready to reboot. And this is the Calamari's installer on Linux Hub Prime. All desktops available. You can set them all up to vanilla, however you like. You do with it, whatever you want. All right, so now we'll run through the uh, Prime installer. And basically the Prime installer, all of the options are the same, but we'll go through that. So right here, I'll just click on cancel. 
All right. And then from right here, I'm just going to click the button down here. All right. It's showing an error because I canceled it. So go ahead and close that. And now I'll just click this button right here and we'll go with the, uh, with the regular uh, prime installer. Now note on the button right here, the tool tip, the left click opens the prime installer. The right click opens up the Calamari's installer. So if you want to reset the prime, uh, Calamari's installer, just do the right click on your mouse. The left click opens up the prime installer. The right click opens up the Calamari's installer. All right, I'll use the same Hyperland for this example also. Click on that. So right here, these options that say required, they are required. So username, uh, password, really strong complicated password, repeat the password, and then you have the auto login option for right here. It's either yes or no. Uh, select AR help, helper options. Right here, you have multiple options. But right now, PAMEC is broken. So, you know, you you can either uh, get clone it and install it yourself or Paru and Ye, they are working. But PAMEC is not working right now. Well, if you don't want none, you could also uh, select none. Uh, same thing for LibreOffice. Yes or no. Uh, install gaming helpers. Yes or no. Uh, install minimal or full packages. So the choice is up to you. And the final choice is going to be vanilla or prime desktop. Same as before. If you want, uh, in this case, we're doing Hyperland. If you want Hyperland to be vanilla, select vanilla. Well, the other option is going to be the prime. All right. Then you just click on OK and you go to set up your hard drive. And I'm pretty sure you've seen this part before already. So this right here, you just proceed to set up your hard drive. So you just hit enter, select partitioning. You can use all, any one of these options. You just have to know what you're doing. Of course, the first selection, use the best effort default partition layout is the easiest. So that's the one, you know, for to make it easy. So you just click on that. You select your hard drive. In this case, it's gonna be the virtual block drive because I'm on a virtual machine. I have a loopback device right there, but that's because I started it already on Calamari's. So that's why it's showing that. And then whatever file system you want to use, the choice is up to you. I like using ext4, so I stick with ext4. If you want to LVM your drive, you can do that. If you want to encrypt your drive, you can do that. And just go back, click on install. Yes. And from here, it starts installation. All right, and from here, you just uh, sit back, make yourself a cup of coffee or whatever, go smoke a cigarette, you know, choice is yours. You do whatever it is you wanna do. Five, 10 minutes later, your system will be installed. All right, so uh, if you're watching this video right now, that means that this ISO is now available. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video now and we'll take a look at Hyperland once this is completed. And the installation is now complete using the Prime installer. So we're going to go ahead and reboot. Okay, and we are now uh, rebooted into our Hyperland session. And from here, everything is pretty much standard. You get your welcome screen. Uh, and this is the way it's set up on the Prime. On vanilla, you won't have a, you won't have a panel. Uh, the wallpaper will be whatever vanilla wallpaper Hyperland uses, you know, so on and so forth. But version 3.1.1 is out now so you guys can go ahead and uh install it and uh use it to your heart's delight it's all there for the taking all right so uh if you want to download it and play with it you can do that and uh yeah just uh leave me some comments let me know what you think about the system um you know, I'm always asking for, uh, you know, help as far as uh, whatever issues arise. If you do get an issue, please let me know that you have an issue. Don't, but, but you know, try to, try to, you know, do your best to explain what the issue is. Just saying that uh, the installer failed is not really helpful. You know, I, I need, you know, obviously I need more info to go on. 
if you just tell me that the installer failed, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, I have to guess why it, why it failed. That's, that's all, that's all I can do is guess. Uh, is it because of an option you chose, you think, or maybe, you know, try to try to get a, a screen grab if you can, or, you know, pull out your cell phone, take a picture of it and just post that picture on that, uh, on that chat page. You don't have to log in or nothing. You can just use a dummy name and, you know, just, you know, the more info I have, the more helpful it is for me in order to figure out exactly what's wrong and why you got an issue. So therefore, you know, I need all the help I can get. I'm just one person. I'm working countless hours on this project. I mean, countless hours. And, you know, it feels like no one's, no one cares. And you probably don't. And that's fine. You know what I mean? That's fine. If you don't care, then hey. I'm not telling you to care. But I am telling you that if you do use the system and you find an error it helps me a lot if you can try to explain what the error is all information is critical all of it i need as much information as i can get the more info that i have the better i can uh, make these things if i don't have the information i can't help you so i need information all right you guys well anyway this video was just to let you know that uh version 3.1.1 is now out so uh if you want to download it play with it and you have uh, all the desktops are available on either calamari's or the prime installer whichever one you want to use you have all the desktops available if you want them vanilla you could do a vanilla if you just want to do arch iso and just set it up all yourself you can do that also it's all available. All right, you guys. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Uh, if you like the video you just saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, it's all fair game. Give it a thumbs down. And that's going to do it on this one. And I'm out.